Hello, hello. Kenny Evans here, another car video. The topic of this video is how to get rid of approach anxiety. Before I get into that, I want to uh, say, like I always do, you know, this channel is not just for me. It is for you guys. And actually, it's not even for me. It's really for you guys. So I can help you guys be the best you could be in all aspects of your life. Not just dating and relationships, but also health, wealth, and mindset. Because if you only have one thing, but you lack into the others, life will be rough for you. So I want to help you guys be the best you can be in all aspects of your life. So you can not only be having a happy life, but a more fulfilling life with the people you choose to interact with as well. You know, and I know we got some new people here. Welcome. And I know we have some old people here or people who've been here for a while. Welcome. And for all of you guys. I'd like for you guys to, to subscribe and hit that notification button. And if you just want to support my, my channel or if you like my videos, hit the thumbs up and the like button. So I definitely appreciate it and uh, I thank you for that. So uh, back to the topic at hand, how to get rid of approach anxiety. So obviously this is a very important topic when it comes to uh, dating and relationships. You know, whether it's a man or a woman, even if a woman is not the one approaching, sometimes they feel the anxiety and the nerves when it comes to the man approaching. It, whether it's maybe it's bad timing or maybe they find the guy really attractive or maybe they're just not feeling good. They feel the anxiety as well. They approach anxiety as well. But obviously, um, the one approaching, usually the man, feels it the worst. Um, only because they're the one who's taking the step into the unknown. And that is approaching a woman who they don't know generally, or even if you know the woman, maybe you had a friendship and you want to take it to the next level, and you just don't know how the interaction will go. So the anxiety builds up and, um, you know, if you don't know how to control it, um, there's many ways. Um, I'll even give you guys a, a bonus here at the end. You know, that just came to me. There's many ways to do it. But um, ultimately, you got to be able to control it mentally and physically. You know what I mean? Physically is really just as important as the mental. You know, because when you're in the interaction, you have to be able to be as calm as you can. So you can express yourself the best you can. And not, when the, the woman sees that you're calm, she will subconsciously calm down too. Because regardless of if it's just a, a cold approach or interaction, the woman's going to follow your lead. If you're calm, she'll be calm. And if you're nervous, she'll be nervous. She feels that energy. So that's why it's best to be as calm as you can be. So the interaction is much more relaxed and is much more fruitful for both of you guys so you get an accurate depiction of your interest for one another so enough about that um so ultimately first and foremost you want to always assume that whoever you're approaching likes you or wants you you don't want to assume that they're not going to like you or oh it's not going to go well or you know, it's going to be a train wreck or, oh, they're out of your league or whatever kind of negative nonsense, you know, thoughts you want to, you, you, you may be thinking. You're going to always assume that the person you're approaching wants you and likes you and wants what you want until they show otherwise. You know what I mean? So that way you have a much more positive mindset. You're much more confident. You know, you're much more upbeat. You generally will have more energy. You know what I mean? And you'll have a much better uh, interaction and a much more relaxed interaction, generally speaking. You know, that is very important. Always assuming whoever you're approaching wants you and wants to do what you want to do with them, with you, of course. So uh, that one is number one. Number two, you want to have a plan you want to execute before approaching. You know, and that comes with a lot of uh, knowledge or, you know, maybe you just want to, as a man, you say, hey, I want a woman who's smiley, 
who gives me good eye contact, who, um, you know, asks me questions, obviously wants to do what I want. Uh, a big one for me, you know, um, you ask, hey, is this a bad time to talk? Obviously, you want them to say no. So that way you can continue. But if they say yes, obviously, you know, if you, maybe you don't talk then, maybe you give them your car or something so you could talk later. Or if you're not really feeling it, they have really bad energy, you could just leave. You know what I mean? A no-oriented question is a great way to uh, gauge interest. Um, I got that from Chris Voss. Um, I forget the book, but it's a negotiation book. Uh, so that's a big one. Uh, also, the name test. Got that from Corey Wayne. If they don't uh, ask you your name after you've asked their name, that's a sh signs of low interest, so you move on. Um, just a lot of different things. Hey, is she receptive to you? Is she smiling? Is she give you a lot of different things you want to go into and you want to look for to gauge her interest? And if she's not showing those things, leave. And that's having a plan. You got to have a plan. So that way you're not so much in your head or or you're not so much in your body, but you're more a little bit in your head. You don't want to be too much in your head, but you still want to be in your head. So you're much more relaxed as opposed to thinking, oh, man, oh, is she not going to like me? All this is going to go bad. You want to be have more stability in, in, with your mind so you know what you're doing and you can execute, you know. So that's why having a plan and that you want to execute before approaching is very important. Um, but a good way to uh, do the interactions and build up is go to a mall or a place where there's a lot of people and initiate interactions and build them up over time. <clears throat> and a lot of people... A lot of dating coaches talk about this, and it's it's very crucial. I mean, you could go to a mall, you could go to college, uh, you know, campus, you could go to university, you could go to a concert, you could go a park, anywhere where there's a lot of people and initiate interactions. Initially, you want to do, hey, say hello, um, say hello, and then leave. Say hello, or say hey, um, uh, give a compliment maybe, and then leave. You know, once saying hello was kind of boring, say hello, give a compliment, leave. Then from there, you can say hello, give a compliment, um, ask a, a question, maybe the time, or maybe ask where something is that you already know about, you know, and then over time when that gets annoying or you get tired of that, then you can say um, maybe you at, say hello, compliment, ask for something, and then initiate a little bit more conversation, you know? Um, and then the whole point is building up, building up interactions over time. This, and really, I'm not going to give you a time limit on that because it's really up to you how comfortable you are with each step, you know, then ultimately, you know, you in initiate the interaction and then you, you know, get the number. Or you give her your number and set something up or you set something up later after she calls you or you call her. But the number is the last step if you are not bold enough to set up a date right then and there. You know, so that's really it. You slowly build up over time the interactions you have um, with people in crowded areas so you can do it boom, boom, boom real quick and get them done. You know what I mean? So it's really up to you. In terms of how comfortable you are moving to each step but uh, last last tip but not the least really just going out and, and interacting and approaching people you know what I mean that is very important because the one before you could you know it's more planned you say oh I'm gonna do this and then leave or I'm gonna do that and then leave but this you just really just go for it and it's kind of like ripping the band-aid off you know, so over time, it's just like riding a bike. You just get used to it. And then you learn from your experiences, you know, so that way it's more like trial by fire. And sure, it's scary at first. You know, that's actually what I did. You know, I just kind of went for it. But you have to learn from your negative experiences. Oh, say when I did this, she re reacted neg negatively. But when I did that, she re reacted positively, you know, so you have to learn from the interactions. That you're having you can't just go into it and then oh man i got rejected and 
you know, just take it as a loss because really there's no such thing as rejection. I've said this in a previous video because ultimately if your game is tight enough, you could always convert. I don't, I don't uh, recommend it because most guys don't have that good a game and you don't want to get the police called on you because a woman will not call the police on you for approaching her, but she may call the police on you if she rejects you and you keep on coming at her and then you harass her. But at the same time, it can be done if you do it with enough tact. If you see she may be having a little bit of interest, but she's kind of playing. And again, it could be a time waster too. So, But ultimately, to be on the safe side, you don't want to approach a woman who is showing a lack of interest in terms of She's giving you one word answers. She looks mean or angry. Um, she's, you know, uh, not really giving you solid eye contact, you know, looking away from you, um, you know, maybe talking to somebody, you know, all these signs that are not, not giving a lot of interest, you know, or if she failed the name test, you know, she says a bad time to talk. You don't want to keep on approaching her and talking to her. Because now, you know, especially if you, if she's doing that and it's been some minutes, she showed you that she, her interest isn't very high. You just got to move on, you know, and uh, find someone else. And over time, naturally, all that stuff, you will get more comfortable approaching women because now you learn the good signs to look for and the bad signs to look for. You know what I mean? So naturally, your approach anxiety will go down. And I don't care how long you've been in the game, you'll never get rid of it completely. But you'll be able to limit the, the, the approach anxiety, you know? So the last but not least, this is a little extra bonus tip, extra bonus tip. Just being able to breathe, breathe, because whenever you're most relaxed, you're breathing clearly. And whenever you're most anxious, you're not really breathing. One a good breathing technique is, you know, inhaling four times, four seconds, you got to get into the, the deep belly uh, inhale, inhalation and then holding it there for four seconds and then releasing for four seconds and then relaxing for four seconds. And you do that four, four times, you know, before you approach, if you're feeling anxious, anxious, you know, so that's all I really got for y'all. All those things there will help you over time reduce approach anxiety so you can be much more relaxed, confident when approaching, and you'll be able to have a better chance of getting the outcome you want from the approach that you are doing. So, but yes, 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 that is all. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think, whether you agree with my tips or you don't. Let me know if you think I missed something, um, just anything. Let me know. And I mean, of course, um, let me know what other topics you want me to talk about. Uh, not just dating relationships, you know, health, wealth, mindset, of course. This channel, again, is not just about me. And in reality, it's not about me. It's about you guys. So I can help you guys become the best you can be in all aspects of your life. And if you do find value in these videos, or this video specifically, um, I do appreciate donations. And a little bit counts. But only if you find value. And, uh, yeah. You know, until the next week, I'll see y'all. Y'all be safe. And always remember, the strongest man is the happiest man.